this layout is part of the November, I had to think about what month it was, November YouTube hop, layout hop. And I'm going to be scrapbooking these two photos of Rowdy, who is my dad's dog that visits me. He lives with me half time and with my dad half time because he's attached to me. So this is a picture of him sitting in my chair in my craft room uh, waiting for me to finish crafting. And um, this, the, the theme for this month is buttons, badges, or brads. So I have these flare buttons or badges, whatever you want to call them. And I have all of these buttons and I'm going to be using as many as I can on this layout. So I'm going to go ahead and put you on fast forward. I'm going to be using the Echo Park Everyday Eclectic um, collection. And I will put our sponsor's name and a link to their website in the description box, as well as a link to everybody else who's in the hop. So make sure that you visit their uh, YouTube channels and leave a comment. And if you leave a comment on everybody's um, YouTube page, Sorry, I'm trying to remember all this. <laughs> if you leave a comment on each participant's YouTube page or video, uh, you'll be entered to win a prize from the sponsor. So, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and start scrapbooking and put you on fast forward. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, so I've got my circle cutter out and my glass mat, and I'm just going to cut one of my photos into a circle and... I love this circle cutter. It's really easy to use and it cuts perfectly. And I've got a little bit of adhesive down on my glass mat that just, it's like repositionable adhesive so I can like, it'll hold my papers or my pictures or whatever. Now that last photo, I thought I was gonna cut a circle out of that one too, but it is the wrong shape because it's horizontal instead of vertical. So what I'm gonna do is cut it into a rectangle and then, um, use a corner rounder or a corner chomper on the corners. So I'm going to use that wood grain paper right there as my background and I love that blue paper. That's one of my favorite papers out of this collection and it's so simple. I'm not sure why it's my favorite but I just love it. So I'm going to cut a bigger circle than the picture and I wasn't sure like how big I wanted it so I'm going to take a pencil and put it in my circle cutter and you'll see me draw a circle and that kind of shows me where it's going to cut and then I decided just to make it a little bit smaller than that and then go ahead and cut the circle and that's what I did. So I'm going to map my little circle photo onto the blue circle and then move on to cutting some more in a few minutes. Oh and I'm distressing the edges with uh, peacock feathers uh, distressing as well. So I just kind of had an idea in my head what I wanted to do with this with this page and I I was just kind of making it up as I went but I knew that I wanted my I knew that I wanted circles on the page and I knew that I wanted one photo on the top right and one photo on the top or bottom left and other than that I was just kind of experimenting and playing around and just kind of I don't know playing it by ear <laughs> I didn't really have a, a good plan um, I decided to cut circles in different sizes out of some of the different papers and then lay them around the page a little or scatter them really and you'll see that in just a minute. I think the hardest part to using that circle cutter is using my left hand to hold it still because for some reason I have a really hard time doing that. But other than that, it's really easy to use. So now I've got some circles cut and I'm gonna lay them down where I want them. And I'm trying to place them so that the focus is on the photos. And I knew that I needed to mat that one photo because it was just kind of sitting there all by itself and didn't have any pattern paper around it. So I decided to go ahead and mat that on the blue paper and then use my corner chomper on the corners for that as well. And that's kind of the basic layout of the page right there. I know it's really simple, but it's just, I don't know, it's just something I had in mind. And when, when they said that the, um, the theme for this month was buttons and 
badges and you know brad's circles just came to mind so that's kind of why i wanted to do circles so i'm pulling out some thickers now and i've decided to use these white ones and rowdy who is the dog in the picture he's an old cocker spaniel he's about 11 12 years old and he doesn't like anybody but me and my stepdad and <laughs> everybody calls him the grumpy old man because he's just a grumpy little old man um and when i he's he's got this really weird attachment to me like when he sees me he won't let me leave unless i take him with me and then when he comes home with me he's right by my side he's like my shadow if i go in the bathroom he comes in the bathroom if i go to bed he's in the bed you know if i if i go craft he sits at the chair and watches me and waits and if i stand up for my craft desk he gets up and follows me no matter what, what i'm doing even if i'm just getting up to get a pack of thickers or something he'll hop up from the his sleeping on the couch and just follow me to my thicker holder <laughs> and he's just he's just as sweet as he can be to me and my dad um, he's just not nice to anybody else <laughs> so anyway the reason I called this patiently waiting is because he just sits there just like in those photos and watches me while I craft and just waits and waits and waits and then he gets excited when I stand up sometimes because he thinks I'm gonna go to bed and take a nap because I take a nap every day and he, he likes to take naps because he likes to sleep a lot and so he'll get real excited when I stand up and think that we're going to bed when we're really not so that's why I call it patiently waiting because he just sits there quietly and waits and waits and waits. So now I'm pulling out some blue buttons or turquoise buttons. And I have a hard time using buttons. Um, I have tons and tons of them because I love them, but I don't use them very often because I just, I don't know, I have a hard time using more than like one or two on a layout. So I'm just trying to group them together as best I can with these flare buttons. And to be completely honest, I think this layout turned out a little weird. Um, it's not something that I would normally do. I was, I don't know, I just had, um, it wasn't hard. It was easy to do. It's just that um, it's different and I'm not used to that. So to me, I think it turned out weird, but you know, somebody might like it. <laughs> so I figured I'd share it. So I've got a couple little like uh, die cuts and stickers and things like that that I'm just kind of laying around the page right now just to try to fill up some of those empty spots and I thought that claim ticket was kind of cute because I don't know he kind of claims me as his own so to me that made sense and then there's that gold frame that came in a die cut package from one of the from the hip kick club when I was um, subscribed to that and I'm going to use that around the top photo and I have made some changes to my camera now. I put the camera up higher so that you can see the entire page better. So in the next couple videos, you'll notice that you can see the entire page better and the top and bottom aren't cut off like it is in this photo or in this video. So hopefully that will be, you know, that'll make it easier for you guys to see what I'm doing because I'm constantly cutting off the top or the bottom of my video, of the page of my videos. So I'm just sticking everything down now and I put this frame on a little bit crooked and I'm going to fix it in a minute so it won't stay like it is right now. And I stamped the date on that gold and vellum tag right there. It's so pretty. I love that. I don't remember where it came from but it's just gorgeous. And I used stays on ink I think. Either stays on or Versify I don't remember. I also had like a little banner that I put at the top left of the page and you'll see that in the close-ups um, you can't see it right now right there you can see it and that came from a crepe paper embellishment kit like a long time ago and the colors kind of match so I thought I would use it here so here's the close-up guys thanks so much for watching and I hope that you will remember to enter and you know enter to win a prize from the sponsor by leaving a comment on everybody's videos and have a great day bye